Labour have done it again. Labour have proven once again why they are the party of clowns. Labour have proven why they are the most unelectable party in recent times, if not a very long time, why they are a truly ignorant and even bigoted party. Now, how have they proven this once again? In Wales. So it appears that the Welsh-led Labour government is deciding to push forward an anti-racism initiative, which will see road names and buildings named after Sir Winston Churchill and Lord Horatio Nelson renamed as part of an anti-racism initiative. So there you go. There you go. There's Labour again, proving themselves not only extremely ignorant, but incredibly disconnected. And to do this to two of the greatest heroes in British history is so disrespectful and so abominable. I don't actually know how these politicians even get to power in the first place. Now, I hear that Mark Drakeford is the one who is pushing for this, and I also hear that he's going to resign, and rightly so, because if you can actually push for this type of initiative, it just proves that you really need to get going because you're clearly totally disconnected from the public, from the country, so please, you know, move on. Now, I hear that the Tories are planning on blocking this initiative and also in England too, any plans to implement it in England too. And they intend to implement some laws in order to ensure this doesn't happen. Now, is Downing Street going to stand by what it says? It remains to be seen. I can't say I have huge faith in the Tories either right now, to be honest with you, but we will see. It does have to be stopped. And when you think of Sir Winston Churchill and Lord Horatio Nelson and how they were truly two of the greatest Britons that ever were, two of the greatest, who were absolutely instrumental in ensuring that this country was not invaded, where it could have been invaded during those crucial points in our history. And these two men, they were absolutely phenomenal. They did everything in their power, along with all those people who fought alongside them to ensure that this country was protected and remained safe. It is an absolute disgrace and incredibly disrespectful to now in your all your privilege, all your modern privilege that you only have because of sacrifices such as men and, and such as Nelson. And you sit there, you know, in your comfort and you start talking about racism this and racism that and changing street names, changing build buildings, all under the misapprehension about what you perceive to be racism. Absolute rubbish. You should not be a politician. You should have no authority whatsoever because you don't know the concept of respect. You have no sense of knowledge about the history of your own country. And you don't seem to realise there are millions of people out there who really don't like this type of thing. We're sick of this woke nonsense, trashing our history all the time, disrespecting people like Churchill and Nelson, disrespecting the millions of people who fought alongside them to ensure that this country is protected. No. It's absolute nonsense. The initiative should be stopped. It should be tossed in the bin where it belongs. And dear God, if, if anyone out there is seriously thinking of voting for the Labour Party where time and time again, they prove themselves to be, as I said, the party of clowns, don't waste your vote. I mean, it's hard to say who to vote for right now, to be honest, but good God, the day that this country falls to the hands of Labour. Oh, there are no words. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.